Okay, so we are right beside the Puyallup River and I have always want down, you can't see down off to the right, I've always wanted to drive down there. You can go drive down there and go fishing right on the river and I've just never ever taken one of these detours that leads down here. Well, one of my good buddies, Tyler, was down here with his truck and it broke, so we're half a mile away to go rescue him. This is gonna be awesome. until I see him and then I'll find a spot. There he is. I see him down there. That's cool. Alright, now I just gotta figure out how to get down there. Is it that spot I missed? Um, is that a spot right there? Oh yeah, it is. Alright, here's a spot right here. Ooh, doggy! Holy shit, that is some seriously bumpy terrain. All right, hold on. Hey, Tyler! Can you come up here? And... I gotta have him watch my oil pan so I don't lose it. Tyler's watching the oil pan for me. How's it look, boss? Am I close at all anywhere? Woohoo, doggy! Clearance for miles. Good. I put a rock through it once. I don't, want, I don't want to do that again. Not good. Yeah, exactly. Okay. I'll just pull it behind you so you can have some light. Okay. Casey said your high lift would probably do better for this. Yeah, I'm sure it would. Oh, God, dude. That is bad. Wow. That is really bad. Oh, man. Jack. I don't think it qualified. There. Oh, I had it up down, not up. Okay, well, yeah, the other, the other one. Okay, hold on. It's leaning. Well, here's the scene of the crime. Crazy. Okay, we want to keep trying to jack it up. Yep. All right. <clears throat> Let's see if we can get this bad boy up enough that we can slide the axle back in there. What's the ratchet doing? I'm just pulling the axle out so I can see what the fuck is going on in here. Oh. See if there's anything that could be fixed. Interesting. Oh, 
Chuck, you want to put your high lift right on that corner just to kind of... Are we going to toast stand? that bumper? Yeah, just kind of the jack stand. Yeah. Cool. Oh my gosh. Whoa! <laughs> that mud decided to keep this thing. Wow. Hold on, hold you want to hold this right here, Tyler? Huh? You want to hold this jack for a second? Yeah. That just came out screwed. That's disconcerting. When did this, who, has somebody been in here recently? We haven't not, been in here in three recently. years. Four, five years. No, three years. No, it was three. Three. Well, you really happen. don't see any damage? No. Well, I mean, there's damage to the uh, Yeah, the threads the, now. Yeah, but might be able to get it on. Do you have the tools to do that? No, not with me. Did you? have luck with the tow truck or what happened i haven't called one yet because we haven't gotten into the top where it can be towed oh right okay come on baby man you need a thread chaser or a file or something that's crazy oh the old dodge looks good nice tyler i like your mud paint job thanks that's awesome so i was out here for five maybe ten minutes i just came down that I wasn't doing nothing crazy. It was just driving it I'm like, oh, this is interesting. I saw two other trucks down here. And I'm like, oh, let's check it out. And then I was I turned around and came down this way. And then the RPM spiked. And I'm like, uh, that's weird. I wonder if I just broke off my uh, U-joint. Huh. And then you stopped. I looked. I put it in four so I could drag it out of the mud and then looked and went, oh, shit. It was stuck in the mud? It wasn't stuck in the mud, it was just in that mud puddle back there and then drove it up here. Okay. Oh wow. So, let's start. Mm. Wow. Status update. I got the, after we fought with it for a while, busted the tire off, had to back the brakes off, I had to actually force the locking nut on. The threads are really bad but we might be able to get it on a few threads just enough that we can tow this up the hill because the main road is right there. It's very close, very short hill climb. If we can get it right up there, the tow truck can get it the rest of the way. Yeah. Okay, so we got the axle reinstalled, huh? a couple lug nuts back on, and he's gonna try four wheel low and actually try to drive it out of here. And you're gonna videotape Falling back off I mean, not <laughs> yeah, not falling off. Okay, so you want to move forward so we can just go yep. forward? Do you think I would just turn the wheel and drive right up that hill, fucking barely abo as little above idle as you can? Yeah. Here we go. Yeah, it's falling off great. I was like, damn, this Suburban sounds beastly. And then I was like, oh, that's a Cummins. <laughs> that makes more sense. Hell yeah, it's going to walk itself right up the hill. 
Look at that. Would you just look at it? It's doing great, Tyler. That's impressive considering that it was a foot outside of the body when we started. No. That's just suspension. Oh, there it goes. Okay. Yeah, it's just it's just suspension. Whew. Wow. Oh, it's just your suspension tucking. It's fine. So, yeah. Go ahead, Tyler. You're clear. Hold on. Go straighter. Go straighter. There you go. Go ahead. Go straight until you're on the road. Woo! Okay, turn now. Okay, stop or hope. You're good. It's good. There you go. There we go. Perfect. That's perfect. Hell yeah. Now I gotta drive myself out of the mud hole and put all my tools away. Cause I decided to park myself right completely in the middle of the mud hole. But my light bar made a uh, fucking amazing work light let's see yeah here's the nice mud hole that we're, we were in and the best angle for me to light up the scene left me parked in the mud hole so I'm going in the slider door to get tools walking through the mud and then go around the back getting shit out of my toolbox which now I need to put that all away before I drive out of the mud so it doesn't go flying into the mud. Okay, is there anything else loose? Let's see. Uh, bumper's clear. All right, now we move the van. And what, full bearing set? Do you have the puller and everything to do the bearings? Yeah, it's called a hammer and a fucking chisel. <laughs> all right then. Awesome. I can't believe that works. Dude, hell yeah. How long are we down here? What time is it? Seven o'clock. 6.37. So I got here an at 5.30. Uh, 5.30, so an hour. An hour, and that wheel was a, over a foot out the body. Yeah. That's awesome, dude. Yeah. Hell yeah, high five. Yeah. That is sweet, and you drove it out of here. And I drove it That is so sweet. Drove it up a pretty gnarly hill, too, so. Did the tow truck say what his ETA was? I don't know. Okay. Well, I'm going to take a leak in the pack of my stuff. Hey, cheers, buddy. Cheers. Successful rescue mission. You know what's even yeah, better? Very successful. A Volkswagen fixed a Chevy. No. A <laughs> Volkswagen driver brought a single tool made in the USA, not where this is made, where that's made. Uh huh. High quality. And that's what fixed it. Yeah. You're the one Stanley. who was bragging about the Stanley uh, screwdriver anyway. Just because it says made in USA, maybe it was printed in China with the words made in USA. I mean, it's possible, but I'm going <laughs> to trust the old yellow striped Stanley screwdriver. Dude, I've had that thing forever. Yeah, I'm sure you have. Forever. That doesn't look like a tow truck. No. No. That was pretty fun. Yeah. Like I said, I climbed its way out of that hole with threads that were beyond screwed up. Yep. Like, jeez. Casey kept freaking out that it was going to fall off. 
but it was just the flex of your suspension so the wheel would twist inboard outboard but that was just the suspension cycling it wasn't oh, coming the wheel loose wasn't at all twisting okay he thought the wheel was twisting but it was a suspension cycling oh okay yeah so it I mean, it would be twisted well, yeah, right that now. That was a hell of a bump. You know, we should probably be getting this in front of the truck or a little <laughs> bit okay. ways away. So the tow truck was en route and had to respond to a police emergency and got derouted. So we're, Tyler made the call to abandon the vehicle up here where the tow truck driver can get to it. And then we are just going to head out of here. So Tyler's just literally gonna leave it right there on the side of the road and I'm gonna give him a ride back to his house. What you got, man? Oh, just grab him like the no-co out of him. Okay, sounds good. <laughs>